In the OpenAI Dev Day keynote speech, Sam Altman talked about the newest context length or context window for GPT-4, now called GPT-4 Turbo. And it's one of the biggest updates that he had to share during the conference. He said previously the model's context window was 8K, so that's 8,000 tokens. And in some cases it could go up to 32,000 tokens. But for some developer use cases, that still isn't enough. But this newer model can support up to 128,000 tokens. And he goes on to say that that is the equivalent of 300 pages of a textbook. Okay, but that seems to be the context window for the API model. But what about ChatGPT? Has the context window changed within ChatGPT with the new update, GPT-4 Turbo? Later in the speech, he says that ChatGPT now uses the latest model, GPT-4 Turbo. And that includes the latest knowledge cutoff date, which is April 2023. Okay, but he doesn't seem to mention the new context window within ChatGPT. In a previous video on my channel called Testing the Context Window of ChatGPT, we learned that the old model, or before the update, the context window was somewhere between 3,000 and 4,500 tokens. So if you ever wanted to write some code, make a mobile game, build an app, a context window that small just isn't going to cut it. So let's hope with the newest update to ChatGPT that the context window, the context length has grown significantly and we can now do a lot of these tasks that we wanted to do before with the new model. So I'm gonna test it out. Okay, here we are in ChatGPT and the GPT-4 model is chosen. Let's start by first asking it, what is your context window? Let's see if it gives us a correct answer. So I'm gonna ask, what is your context window? Okay, according to ChatGPT itself, it's saying that the context window of this version is approximately 8,000 tokens. They say that's equivalent to 3,000 to 4,000 words at a time. Let's see if that's right. So I'm gonna delete this chat and I'm gonna create a new chat. And the same thing I did in the last video, I like to do the secret code test. I tell ChatGPT a secret code at the beginning of the conversation and then we keep referring back to that later in the chat to see if it can remember that secret code. Now I'm gonna do things a bit differently this time. I'm gonna speed up the process, but first we need to give it a secret code. So let's do the secret code is mango. Please remember this. All right, it says understood. The secret code is mango. I'll remember this for future reference. If you need to use this code later, just let me know. All right, now let's start inputting some text. And I like to go to Wikipedia and just grab a random article. Let's do Skyfall. And we're gonna copy this text. Let's see how much we can copy. Let's go all the way down to here. Go into ChatGPT, paste that in, and send it. I'm gonna go back to Wikipedia. Let's grab some more. Hit copy and paste this in. All right, we're grabbing some more. Paste that in, hit enter. And in the meantime, I'm gonna pull up the tokenizer on OpenAI's website. So this gives us an idea of how many tokens our text is. I'm gonna grab all of our text once this is finished. All right, let's take this, scroll all the way up, everything but the secret code, let's copy. All right, we're roughly at 6,500 tokens, and we just need to do a little more. I wanna get super close to that 8,000 token limit. So let's go back, let's grab one more. Maybe I'll grab the music here and the release and reception. Let's go back down to the bottom, paste that in. I'm gonna take this in the meantime, go into the tokenizer, add that. It gave us another 500 tokens. And with this answer, it's gonna put us right under 8,000. And then we're gonna test for that secret code. I'm sure it wouldn't draw from the title of the conversation on this left side here, but just in case, I'm gonna rename this Skyfall info. Okay, it stopped writing. Let's grab its response here. Go to the tokenizer. Okay, 7,681. I think it's a good time to test. Let's go back to ChatGPT. In an input box, we're gonna put, what is the secret code I gave you earlier? All right, are we ready? Hey, it remembered. That's amazing. So it doubled the context window. I bet you this makes a lot of people excited. A lot of coders or developers like me that was begging for a longer context length. I think we got it, that's 7,500. You know, let's do one more test. For those of you who wanna see it push the limits, I'm gonna create a new chat and we're gonna go over this token limit, over 7,600. Let's go to maybe 10,000 and see if it can remember the code. So we're gonna delete this chat and create a new chat and go, the secret code is mango. Please remember this 
for later. And let's go grab all that Skyfall text. Paste it in. Okay, let's grab some more. Apparently the input box limit is 3,000 characters. So maybe I'll just fill up the 3,000 characters. Let's open a new page here. And let's get as close to that 3,000 token limit as possible. 1,500, 2,400. I think that's good for this one. Paste it in. All right, grabbing some more. Here we go, another 2,500 characters. Paste that in, hit enter. Let's grab some new text this time. Let's grab some of this box office stuff. Here we go, paste it in. Okay, let's see where we are here. I'm gonna copy everything right up to the top. Let's go to this tokenizer. All right, we're at 9,700. Let's just do one more small one. Maybe this, the finish the article here. Paste this in. Let's use this in the tokenizer. All right, we're just over 10,000. I'm gonna take the response of ChatGPT for the last bit. Let's wait till this finishes. And remember, we're gonna change the title of this conversation just in case. I don't think this is a factor, but we wanna be safe. Let's rename this. Skyfall Bond. Okay, it finished generating. Here we go. Okay, so this test is can it remember the secret code after 10,319 tokens? The moment of truth. Chat GPT, here we go. What is the secret code I told you earlier? It still remembers Mango. We are over 10,000 tokens for a context limit and it's still remembering the secret code. This is amazing. How am I going to fool it? Okay, let me think here. Should we do 15,000 or 20,000? I think we should do 20,000, you know, just to give us a range of where this context window could reside. All right, let's start this again. I'm not gonna walk you through the whole thing. I'm gonna edit it once I'm ready to go. So new chat, let's delete this old one. Okay, the secret code is mango. Please remember this for later. Okay, I just inputted 7,000 tokens in one input chat and it allowed it to go through. For those of you that remember the old chat GPT, it would say your input is too large on the bottom here and big red writing, and you'd have to regenerate the chat. Look at this, I pasted this entire thing in and was able to give it for me. Man, chat GPT has been upgraded so hard. I like that its output is like only 500 tokens though. And I'm gonna need a bigger article. My text is so long that the tokenizer on OpenAI is breaking. It's telling me to try something shorter. Okay, this is funny. Let's see exactly what it is. I might need two tokenizers to see exactly how many tokens I'm running with here. I love how ChatGPT's context window is larger than the tokenizer on openai.com. Okay, it seems to break around 11,000. Yeah, it seems to break around 11,000. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make two of these just to get an idea of how long this text is. So let's go, let's go to something like here. This is 7,000. Okay, this one has 10,810 and the rest of the text. And then we're actually gonna need one more. Okay, let's paste this in. So we have a total of 10810 plus 10757 plus 768, I couldn't fit that last one in. Okay, right now this chat is 22,335 tokens. It's a very long chat. Here it is, all the chat. Scrolls all the way up. And we have the secret code at the top. Scroll down, we're gonna change this title again. Go Skyfall. Here we go, what is the secret code I told you to remember? The secret code you asked me to remember is Mango. Unbelievable, 22,000 token limit. Okay, I think I'm gonna stop here. I think this context window is large enough for 95% of the use cases that you'll have to use ChatGPT for. I challenge someone to find out if the actual context window is 32,000, like Sam Altman said. But what we learned today is just crazy. I'm so excited for the possibilities. We know it's somewhere over 22,000 tokens. And I did a test here and I wanna show you what I did. I grabbed this 10,810 tokens, and let's scroll down, and I paste it into the input box, and it doesn't give you an error anymore. It actually looks at what you wrote and starts responding to it. Look at how many tokens this is. The input box would fail at like 3,000 in the earlier update. You can paste in entire articles, maybe even some chapters of a book. You know, if it's a small book, you could do a full chapter in here, ask it to summarize it. 
You could paste your whole code in for one of your files and ask it to make some changes. Even the input box context length got a huge upgrade. Look, I'm still scrolling up. Look how much text this is. This is one input, one input from me. <laughs> I'm still going, this is nuts. There we go. Okay, just a recap of this video, what we did. We did the secret code test. Let's scroll all the way up. At the beginning of the conversation, I gave it a secret code. I said, the secret code is mango. Please remember this for later. It understood. Then I proceeded to punch in a bunch of tokens, just a random article we took from Wikipedia. And then we counted the context length of both my inputs and ChatGPT's responses. And we got 10,810, 10,757, and then 768. We broke the tokenizer. It can only do up to 11,000 tokens at one time. We added this all together and we got 22,335 tokens. And after all that, I asked, what is the secret code? And it gave me mango. So I'm just gonna scroll up from here just to show you how much it is. Here, how, this is how much text it remembered the secret code through. Just to give you a visualization. This is unbelievable. This is so much text. And it keeps going, keeps going, keeps going, keeps going, keeps going. And then we also learned that the input box at the bottom can do more than 10,000 tokens at one time. So I hope this all helps you out with future projects.